this would be the abbreviated version of this uh, little video. Uh, I'm going to do two videos. This is this is the abbreviated version. This is the uh, whack bag version. Uh, so there you go, guys. I got this from my uncle George's house. My uncle George's house back in 2001 when we put him in an old H home. Uh, I had seen this on his shelf when I was a kid, and uh, I always lost it after it. And uh, now that he's dead, it's mine. So it took about 20 minutes or so for this thing to build up a head of steam. Uh, it's real live steam. It runs on these little uh, solid fuel pack pellets. It does nothing. Uh, there's a guy on um, there's a guy on YouTube. His name's Mr. Pete 222, who actually shows how to build um, wobbler steam engines. But he builds a couple different styles. Um, this is the type. This is my type. This is a piston system with a. This has a valve. So the main. Turn it this way. This whole thing is hot. I should add. So. See, I'm running out of fuel. It's kind of a bummer now that I got it running. I guess I lied. So you can see it's the valve's not really working all that great. It's uh, I put a little drop of oil in there to try to seal it up. So here's the piston, uh, the flywheel. These are the, the governor balls, uh, when you've ever heard the term running balls out. So that's the, uh, the governor. We have, uh, so that's the piston. This is the valve, uh, which runs off of this arm here. And that's the flywheel. Um, I had to give it a little bit of help to get the flywheel spinning. Oh, there we go, ran out of juice. This is very dangerous, but I'm going to do it anyway because my buddy Dan wants to see me burn alive. Oops. Oh, that fucked everything up. Put a little bit more water in it, which isn't going to get hot. I may have just put the fire out. Yep. And then put the fire out. These are solid alcohol, so they're like alcohol and paraffin, so they don't burn with a lot of flame. Hopefully because I didn't cool the boiler off too much. You can see the oil specs. I wasn't going to run it this long, but now I want to do a different angle. Let it build up another head of steam. While I was showing off my stationary steam engine, I had mentioned that I have a, um, I have one that's a actually moves. Uh, that's this one here. Uh, this is a scale of a steam powered steamroller. Um, as you can see here, the uh, canopy on it's a little bent, which I'm going to actually fix today uh, before I clean it up. It's in really, really kind of dirty. Like I said, kitchen scum, never been cleaned uh, state. I'm just going to clean this one up. I'm not going to fire this one 
I just looked at it. It actually had been fired. I thought it had never been fired, but never been fired by me. What's kind of cool about this is it has its own little remote control. Um, you you attach this to the steering wheel here, and then you can hold this and then turn. Oops. Well, <laughs> turn this, and this turns. Uh, And this is supposed to turn and act as a uh, uh, steering wheel, or turn the steering wheel, but this is a little seized up, I think. Uh, this is a little seized up. So, I don't care. I'm not going to mess with it. This is going to go into a drawer somewhere, or be just be part of uh, one more thing that gets thrown away when I die. So, the way I've been cleaning these up is just hitting them with a little brush, a uh, toothbrush, to knock the real, real heavy stuff off. And I've got a pretty high pressure air blaster I've been um, just blowing it off with, uh, which scares poor Tiki. But uh, just get it, blow it off like that. I'm gonna actually unbolt this. This is one that actually unbolts. So I'm just gonna unbolt this and then straighten these and then put it back together. And then it's just gonna get put back up on the shelf with the other one. Uh, I just thought I should show it off.